Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I'm going to show you how I use digital downloads from sticker shops or digital dolls to make stickers. I'm on the PR team for JDM Brooklyn, and really, I just love her dolls. So I have quite a few of them. I have not made stickers for most of them yet. I kind of make them as I go. So I have this selfie doll here, and I'm going to use her to show you how I make my stickers. This is not specific to dolls. It just so happens that I'm using a doll for this tutorial. You can use this for any shape or graphic that you would like to turn into a sticker. Typically, when you get these files, they come as a JPEG or a ping. I prefer them in a ping format because they don't have a solid background. The background is transparent. So I'm going to go into Silhouette Studio. I'm, I'm going to work in a way that I'm guessing you have some knowledge of the Silhouette Studio software. This is some stickers that I just made. So now I'm going to open the file for the selfie doll. Let's see if I can find her. Here she is. Okay. So this is how she opens up in Silhouette Studio as a ping. This ping happens to have a background, but we're going to remove it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Even if the background was transparent and it was a ping, I would still remove the transparent area. So I'm going to open the trace panel. I'm going to select trace area and highlight the entire doll. Now I want her to be solid yellow because outside the edge of the yellow is where the cut line will go or where it, in this case we'll trace and detach her from the background. So I'm going to make this, this um, yellow as solid as possible without going overboard, without going over and outside of the doll. So that gives us a yellow silhouette of her. Then I'm going to click trace and detach. What that does is detach what I had covered in yellow from the background. So if I click just on the white outside of her, drag that off, you can see where it cut off the background. So we can just delete that and get rid of it. I'll leave it there for now. So we slide her over. You can see she has no background, whereas before she had the white around her. So now if I go to send, she already has a cut line around her. She doesn't have one in her armhole, but she has one around the outside of her. I'm going to turn that off. We don't want to use that one. So I'm going to turn that cut line off. Then I'm going to go back to design and select trace area and do just what we did to remove the background. Select the doll. Then I'm going to adjust the threshold to make her a solid yellow silhouette. Then I'm going to use this trace option so that it will trace the armhole and the outside. So it trace, traces what's inside of the silhouette and what's on the outside of the silhouette. So now let's zoom in. And you can see the red line around her outside. It's If you can't see it, trust me, it's there. I'm going to right-click on that red line to open this panel to do the offset. So I go to Offset. And it's going to open the offset panel over here. And it automatically goes to 0.125 inches on my system. I'm going to change that to 0.03125. That's one thirty second of an inch, I think. So that reduces it down. It's not so big. Okay. So it's just a minimum, minimal offset. So what that does is give us a white border around her. So now I need to go in and delete that first cut line that we did to create the offset. So I have to click real close to the edge of the graphic and hit delete. 
Now to check to make sure that that is gone, I go over to send. And let me zoom in so you can see that we only have one cut line. So where you see the red, that is where your machine will cut. So that's just basically getting the doll ready to be cut. Now I'm gonna, I, I usually put the cut line on the full size doll. So whatever, the, whatever size the doll or graphic is, I leave it at that size. I remove the background if need be. I add my cut lines and my offset. And then I'm going to group it together. So I have my original size doll. And I'm going to copy her and put her over on the side because that's my original. Now I'm going to work on setting up how I want my stickers laid out. First of all, I need to put my registration marks. So I'm going to go to the page setup panel. Click on the registration option for registration marks. And turn those on type 1. This these little lines, square in the lines, show you down here, are what tells the silhouette where to cut. This is how it adjusts its blade and knows where it needs to cut. This hash area is an area you want to stay out of. If you get into that area, it can interfere with your silhouette being able to read the registration marks, and you may not get it to cut. So stay away from the hash marks. So I'm moving her over so she is not in that area. When I do my sticker sheets, I tend to just do the full eight and a half by 11, depending on what I'm doing. If, I'm, if I wanna do a variety of sizes of stickers, I just stick with eight and a half by 11. If I wanna make little sticker sheets that will fit in a photo album or that are small and easy to store, then I'll divide this sheet up into four. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to use the 8.5 by 11. If you would like to learn how to divide your stickers up into sticker sheets, I have done a video showing how to do that, and I will link it in the info and in the description box below. So I usually like to keep a, a couple of the dolls the full size in case I want to use them on a dashboard or something special. So I'm just going to duplicate her one more time. I'm going to the replicate panel, and I'm just going to copy her to the right. Make sure I don't like them touching. So I usually space over a little bit just so that the cut lines aren't touching. I don't have a lot of room up here because uh, I don't want to get in the hash mark area. But I think we're good. I got my two big dolls. Now I'm just going to copy her again. Control C, V. And then I drag her over here so I can use this ruler area to measure her is just easiest way for me to do it so usually I want the full size doll I'll do one about three inches and then I just kind of fill in the space as much as I can I'm just going to copy her over fill in the space So it's not enough space here for her for the three inch doll, but I don't really need a whole lot of those. So I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'm gonna make her a two inch. And she can fit right in here. So I kind of just fit as many as I can on the sheet. I'm not trying to make it a sheet that I would sell or anything like that. This is just for my personal use and I'm trying to get as much out of my sticker paper as possible. So let's duplicate her to the right and move her down a bit and over because I can get quite a few. And let's start making some a little smaller. So I'm going to go down to about an inch and a half. And then I'll just copy her over, put some space in between them. Oops. Let's 
Then I can select all five of these and copy it down. Put some space. Okay, so that's enough. I think I have plenty on here. I probably could have done a few more of the two inch dolls, but I'll leave it like that. So that's how I do it. And then I would just print this on my self adhesive paper and run it through the silhouette. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.